everybody, today we're taking a look at Frog Detective 2, the case of the Invisible Wizard. I've not played Frog Detective 1. Frog Detective 2 has very positive reviews on Steam. When I say very positive, I mean 100% of the 22 reviews submitted so far have been positive. I would describe that as better than very positive. And I'm seeing right out of the gate. You can hold the magnifying glass up to the frog's eye and make it look like he's classy. He's got a cool little monocle. Also, a button fly. I respect that. Let's get started. Now, I'll tell you everything I know about Frog Detective, okay? And Frog Detective 2. It's $5, it's well-liked, the art looks amazing, and it's short. So we're not gonna play an hour of it, because apparently it's like an hour long, I'm not that kind of guy. But I, I'm interested to give it a peep myself and see what's going on here. Okay, it's a first-person game. You move using Wazda. Beautiful. I'm sure that's from the first game right there. Looks like a cool birthday party. Yo! Very cute. The sloth is breaking it down. Sure, I will pick up the phone. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. Hi, Detective. Hi, Supervisor. Why did you hang up on me, huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah! Yo, this bird has a pizza oven. And the cursor's a frog's foot. This is a dream come true. I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry, anyway, Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple of days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea. Absolutely, but someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads on this case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I'm the detective. I am aware. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way by foot. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Great. Hop to it. Ha ha. Oh, I forgot to mention the new resident of the woods is special. Special. She's got to have some of your attention. She's invisible. <laughs> and a wizard. An invisible wizard. Cool. Uh, what's the relevance of her being invisible? You're a detective. Figure it out, buddy. Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade and the decorations and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible. de invisible Visible. Exactly. Anyway, do you have everything you need? I have my shoes. Take your word for it. My jumper. My pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass. You don't even need to start with me. Good luck, detective. You think I didn't see that as soon as I walked in? Ah, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. I like when you put his foot in front of his mouth. It makes it look like he's got a... A giggle, and he can't stop laughing. Normal, dignified frog? <laughs> well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. Got magnifying glass. All right. Take an enchanted cart to the end of the line. Yo! I mean, you gotta look, right? I gotta be honest. I don't think this thing's working right. Yo, he's, he's doing the worm. He's really good. Okay. Let me out of my house, please. This is a lobster cop. I told you! <laughs> oh, it's the cable guy! You gotta stop him, dude. 
Just close the door, please. Ah, it's the famous frog detective. F famous? I'm not famous. Haha, <laughs> perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. It's not all it's cracked up to be. What brings you to my office, detective? Um, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. No, it's my old office. <laughs> I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure it is, little cleaning frog. And then I say, I am a crime-solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually, you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I'd never have time to solve all my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, lobster cop. Perhaps. But detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Wow, yes please. Tip number one, pay attention. You should make sure you are looking at things, paying attention to words. Tip number two, everyone's a suspect. Even you! I will suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three, carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook, though. Well, it's your lucky day! I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yup, there are stickers you can use too. I bought them with all my crime solving money. Cool. I'll let you get to it, detective. Head into my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay, thanks, lobster cop. I'm ready to decorate. Hanging out with a couple aliens? King of the Banana Council? We're just gonna not talk about that one. <laughs> you know? I was told that... You guys had gotten a table for three. Not a table for five, and that's why I wasn't invited. Picture of a ghost. Okay, fair enough. Hmm, which stickers should I pick? And where should they go? Okay, you gotta get an uh, appraisal of the situation first. I already know where I'm going with this, okay. Okay, so here's, we're gonna get a cactus. And we're gonna put the cactus in stiletto boots. But we want the cactus to be on top of the boots because it obscures the boots a little. Okay, so there you go. That's beautiful. And then, she's classy. She's gonna be holding some makeup. But she's also skilled. She's not just a pretty face. She's holding the trophy. And she's not giving it out. In fact, she's receiving it from a robot. Can I scale your size? I cannot. Okay, she's receiving it from the flower queen who also gave her that lipstick. I don't like that. I don't even know what that is. Who is wearing a hat. <laughs> Please, remove this sticker. But, there you go. But what's this? She's got an eyeball on her stomach. I'm done. Good book? Yep. <laughs> got a notebook. Uh-oh, sticky! Open your notebook with tab. There you go. Invisible wizard. Nobody knows. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you suspicious. All right, lobster officer. Thank you for the notebook. How's your book decorating? It's right there on the desk, you know? I know, just taking my time is all. Well, I haven't got all day. Just kidding, I do have all day. Take as long as you need. All right, but I am out. Goodbye. 
I'm so handsome. We need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line and then walk the rest of the way. I am prepared. That's a dirty beat. That does appear to be haunted. You can tell by the harpsichord. It's how uh, six foot tall and taller people claim to sit when they sit in economy class on an airplane. You know, he's, this is a frog on a mission. Warlock Woods. Starring the detective. You know, I can get down with the sweater game. Susan, Ralph, like him already, Mandy, Mary, and several more characters. Those are real animals. I don't believe that we'll see them. Frog Detective 2, The Case of the Invisible Wizard. Yo, there's a real oboe in there. Kate's gonna love this game. Very cute. I've tried to combine two words. Very cute, very charming, irreverent, cool fonts. I can get down with this. Whoa. Yo, I gotta lower my sends. How am I supposed to snap the headshots? Okay. We are gonna speak to Susan first. Oh, my stars? It's you. It's me. The famous lobster cop. Susan was not renowned for her observance. I really thought you'd be a lobster. Ah, no, I'm a frog. Yeah, why is your name Lobster Cop? I have to tell you something. I am not Lobster Cop. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. Frog detective. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks, I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Can I open my book, please? You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though, to remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. About the wizard. Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here, at least. Not me. But I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade, and I was the one to start the investigation. Okay, okay. So you were fine with her moving to the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years, and it's really nice someone wants to live there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker yet, but I worked really hard on this sign. Really, I struggled to understand why someone would knock it down. I feel so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. Some people are very protective of their communities and think new people are going to change things for the worse. You already got... I don't even know. The tapeworms coming out of your chimneys. How much worse could it get? But that's almost never the case. New people make places better, especially because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Hopefully, it's just a misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you. Especially you. <laughs> but you're not off the hook just yet. Hook. That's it. Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Okay, you know what? Nothing right now. We'll find a hook. Susan. Motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign and destroyed the parade out of embarrassment. Needs something to fix her sign. Insists she is not suspicious. This makes her much more suspicious than she realizes. Upset about the parade. Worked really hard on her sign. Also, if you'll excuse me for a moment, Susan. Suspicious. I don't make the rules. 
Sorry, I just want to I want to look for a hook quickly. <laughs> it's cool, cool dog wearing sunglasses. I can get down with that. Look at that. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Got a pie. One lost pie. Okay, that's a quest that we can solve. I've got confidence in us. Hello? I see you. Yo, that's a wizard, dude. Let me in. Hello, is anyone home? It sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. Okay, I understand. Look, I don't have a warrant. I can't force you to open the door. That's too expensive. I don't have that many A bucks. There's another pie. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't engage in commerce. Not yet. Haven't earned any money yet. Hello, wizard. <laughs> you stinky wizard. Okay, next step. Obviously, you come around the other side, you gotta talk to Ralph. He's go- Whoa, hello. Creature. He's gonna be very upset his streetlight was broken. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. I'm not gonna shout. Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? Hold on, I have to do a little tactical edit here. I'm getting steamed up. Who would have thought? December? It's not sweater weather yet. It's not quite sweater weather yet. So what you do? Look at that. Who would have thought? Not me! You can hear me at this volume? Yes. Weird! I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? But you're so small. I am of average frog height. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. He's a little taller, I think. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questioning me, huh? About the wizard. I'm not gonna ask about his personal life. How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Hmm. It's nothing against the wizard, but... Here we go. I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. But... I would really like my own home. Oh, I'd been eyeing off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs, like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Could you find me two lost pies? No. Okay. Questioning me, huh? I'm only asking one question at a time for now. I gotta get an appraisal of the situation, okay? This is Ralph. He needs building supplies. He wants to renovate. Thinks I am too small, but I am not. That's it. He's, he's an enigma. So the first thing you got to do... Hit him with the suspicious real quick. Okay. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. There's only two... Well, hold on. What do you got here? Yo, you're missing two pies. Mandy. You're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you. I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective. Are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh, I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky. Don't witches and wizards have an implicit rivalry? Gary Gygax, can I get a ruling, please? I should never have learned that tidying up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but first I need to find all my pies. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying. I spent ages making them. I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Dude, this chips bag 
has incredible Seinfeld logo energy right now. Chips, they yummy. TM. <laughs> Tell me what you want to know about your pies. Do you need help finding your pies? Yes, detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yup. Thanks, I do too. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings the look to a whole new level. I may be a dingus, but I am a very stylish dingus. What were we talking about? My outfit. No, before that. Pies. Right. You offered to help me pick up my pies? Here's the thing. I'm missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them up and give you one as payment. Here's the thing. Give item. Pies? Mandy. Detective. I have found some of your pies. Wonderful. Now there's only three left to find? Are you insane? I thought... You were only missing two pies. Mandy, you've given me an impossible... <clears throat> Mandy, you've given me an impossible task. Notes. Someone knocked her pies over. What a bummer. Schooled me about fashion. Fair enough. Real witch. Spooky. You missed one thing. That's all I got to say here. Whoops. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. Okay, hold on. We are searching... For missing pies. There's one. She's missing two more. You don't need to give me this. I This part, I got it locked up. Always got to take a look around the tree line right at the front. You probably don't have to do this, but... I'm gonna. Leave no stone unturned. I respect that bathing suit. It's like a 1920s style bathing suit. The other pie might be inside of someone's domicile. So you know what? Let's put that on the back burner for now. May I speak to you? Hi. Hello. Wanna hop in? I am a frog. A little bit, but I'm on a case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. Who are you? The detective. Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool, cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Because, like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah. Nobody knows anything for certain these days. It's very true. So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend Naughty. She's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus... I heard there were going to be delicious pies for the parade, so the timing was perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Not good with small talk, huh? Um, so anyway, can I ask you some questions about the case? About the wizard. Did you know much about the invisible wizard before you came here? And eh, not really. I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that, I don't know a lot. Annoying that they never threw a parade for me coming to visit. I'm super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. The first time they even threw me a parade. Sorry, the button is... It's like six years old. I can't believe it still works. Okay, I take the parade thing back. Just pretend I didn't say that. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. <laughs> I get it. I'm not sure, but probably don't tell them they're boring. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings, though, did I? Well, I have to admit I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job, and I'm a frog, and I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. Which crimes? This one. You solved the, this crime already? Yeah, Ralph did it. How do you know? Um, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet. Who do, take, trying to convict someone without a, any evidence? Who do you think you are? The Manitowoc County Sheriff's Office? 
one day that thing's gonna work. But it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? Uh, motive. The reason for destroying the parade. Oh, um, I think because he has an eye patch on. Wow! I don't think that's a real motive. That doesn't make any sense. Now who's the rude one? Get me out of here. I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat something and get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. Here, I will get you something to eat. Please take one money as an apology. Got one money. <laughs> Questions. Give item lost pie. I will. I know I shouldn't. Sometimes when you're doing police work, you gotta bend the rules a little bit. Hello, Victor. I have a pie for you. Detective, where did you find this pie? I found it on the ground. Sorry, Detective. You may have to speak up. These hot tub jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I do not want to eat a ground pie. I have made a mistake. I'd say maybe even two. Two mistakes. Yes, one mistake for giving me a dirty pie and another mistake for giving me a pie that does not belong to you. That's right, detective. Though I am visiting from out of town, I know that this is one of Mandy's pies. They are delicious. If you just happen to find it on the ground, it cannot be yours to give away, so I cannot accept it. He is good. I will return the pie to Mandy. I apologize. One money and the introduction of Victor. Motive. Hadn't eaten, could have been jealous of the parade, needs something to eat. The characterization, it runs so deep. Such a rude individual, perhaps only rude because of hunger, but maybe just rude in general. I want to visit Pumpkinville. You see a little silhouette of a man? I saw you. I got you on camera. That was freaky, dude. Okay. I really would like to solve one case, please. Any pies under the stage? Can I can I pick you up? No. We got to at least speak to everybody first. I thought her name was No Daddy. Huh? Who are you? The detective. Oh, I thought Lobster Cop was coming. What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No, but I heard... Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa! Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog is a temper. <laughs> Hello, wizard. Anyway, who are you? I'm Naughty. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Was it you that asked for me to come? No, I would have asked for Lobster Cop. Stop listening to me. Okay, can I ask you some questions about the case? I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. About last night. What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh, but I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. And she is invisible. Yes. And she just moved in. And... She is a wizard. I think you mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. Right, okay, sorry. It's fine. Anyway, tell me what you want to know about the wizard. How do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh, well, I'm happy she's here, but that house has been empty for ages, and I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. She kind of came at a weird time of night, and I, well, I thought that she was a ghost. Oh, yeah, it was a bit messy. I tried to vacuum her up. Ladies and gentlemen, we have, we've solved the case with a vacuum. I put it on the highest setting, just really went to town with the vacuum. I think I really freaked her out, and now she won't come out of the house. Please don't put me in jail. You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real, but you should probably apologize. Okay, sorry, detective. I mean to the wizard. Right, yeah. That's why I was helping with the parade, to apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear, I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song, but as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. Yo. You think it's broke inside? 
If I only had a rug or something to use, I could cover up the mess, but the town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. Do I have any more questions? No. I do not. She needs a rug or something like it. And also, is suspicious. I want that to be clear. I gotta be honest, I don't feel like we've gotten any closer to solving this case. Mostly getting wrapped up in cute irreverent dialogue with a, with a host of colorful characters. I can get down with that. But I'm also a task-oriented individual. The, and here's a task for you right off the bat. Whoops. You're suspicious. You're a little suspicious. And I gotta be honest, I'm not totally sure about you either. May I enter your home, Mandy? You're not Mandy, you're Susan. Nice, wholesome domicile. Just a bed, some photos of yourself, and a telephone. Okay. Do you have a rug? You do not have a rug. Is that a rug? <laughs> Hold on. I only have one money. Can I enter your domicile yet? I don't believe so. Okay. There's only two more people to talk to, and then we'll make a decision about where we're progressing here. Although we do have some more things to say to everybody as well. Do you have a hook or a rug? Ooh, la la. Hello, frog. I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? Hmm, yup. I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh, are you okay? I'm tired. Maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. You sing very loudly. Yup, I'm why everyone soundproof their houses. That sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. I think I sound very good, even late at night. Oh, she's a bad neighbor. That's when my energy's the highest, at 3 a.m. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Not wrong. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper. Welcome to my hair salon. Yo, they know ASMR! Snip, snip. That will be 100 money. <laughs> I don't have any hair. Or any money. That's okay. You can pay me back later. Just joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm the detective. Ooh, cool. Can you question me? Do you mind if I ask? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, boy. I love questions. About the wizard. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? Ha ha ha. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't actually hear you. I was asking about the wizard. Oh, yeah. There's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I'm a detective. Right. This is part of the questioning, right? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, so I didn't do any crimes or anything. And I have the right to remain silent. That is true. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? Haha, <laughs> literally never. So, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night that the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty, like, attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, actually. Does this make me a snitch? I think so. Rats. Oh, boy, I love questions. Tell me more. What were you doing last night? Oh, boy, yeah. Sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much. Just singing outside. You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? Detective. Have you heard of extortion? Yes. That's great news. Is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. I don't think that's legal. I am above the law. Oh, why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. That's a lie. I have one money. Well, you best get some soon. I want to go to Froggywood and become a star. <laughs> Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't have many other ways to get there. I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. La. What will you give me in exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number, hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay, we all get extorted every now and then. Anyway, come back when you have my money. Well, honestly, we're gonna have to leave this case in media res. The case of the invisible wizard remains open 
And to be honest, I think we've only made things less clear rather than more clear. <laughs> Frog Detective 2 is available on Steam now. It's cheap and cute. I bought this myself. And honestly, I have to level with you. Even irrespective of the quality of the game, I think it was all worth it for that right there. That is one cool dog. If you think I'm a cool dog, subscribe or click the like button. It helps out a great deal. I'll put a link in the video description to check out Frog Detective 2 on Steam. Please note there is also a Frog Detective 1 that you can check out if this is your bag, baby. Thanks for watching. Come back for some more new videos in the future. And I'll see you next time. See ya!